will proceed in the curl in calculus. Curl is tendency of a vector field to rotate something. A vector field is a vector which has its components as algebraic functions. So, if I have a vector that is 2i plus 3j, then it is called static vector. Okay, so if this is a circle, if this is a circle and it is centered at origin, if this is the origin, if this is the origin, then if I have a vector called 2i plus 3j, then vector is like this, straight. But if I say the vector is 2xi plus 2yj or 2xi plus 2x into yj, if that is the case, then this is a vector field when x equal to 1 and y equal to 1, whatever it is. But if I change x and y, the component x, first component that is 2x and second component that is x into y, the vector is 2xi plus x into yj. If that is the case, if I keep changing x and y, then this vector would start changing its direction. This is vector field. Vector field means whatever the field it is generating. Can you see this? If I keep on changing x and y, it is making 360 degree field all around. This is vector field. If I have a vector that is 2i, vector is 2i, then this vector has power of 2 and it is along x axis. If this is the, if this is the origin, oops. If this is the origin, it is centered at the origin, then 2i is a vector that is along x axis and it has a strength of 2, but all are 2i. As per the vector fundamental, if I do not go to parametric vector, where we have the offsets also, that is parametric vector. If I go to the normal position vector or displacement vector, then all are 2i because everyone's direction is in along x axis and power of 2. If I take full thing, then this big bunch becomes vector field. This is vector field 2i, I mean 2i or xi. This is better word xi. So xi, if I say xi, then this vector vec x plus yi, x plus yi. If I do so, then this, this vector when it is going along y direction, it is changing its strength also. I can say vector field, vector field is a set of vector where we have the strength of the vector, strength of the vector and direction of the vector, both strength of the vector and direction of the vector are controlled through algebraic equation, vector field. Vector field, if you see the book, then vector field is a function which generates different vectors. It is like a vector factory. Vector factory. If I have a vector that is xi, then it is a xi plus yj. If that is the case, then if I say x equal to 0 and y equal to 1, then this is the vector. If y equal to 0, x equal to 1, then this is the vector. If x equal to 1, y equal to 1, then this is the vector that is xi plus yj. Whatever we see its effect all around, that will come under the vector field arena. Okay. Otherwise, every vector has vector field in only one direction. That is the situation. So, if I say, if I say, i plus j is the vector. If it is x axis, it is y axis, then this is i plus j vector. It is in one direction. If I shift it here also, it is in one direction. So, that is, so if I have a static vector, then its vector field, the field it is creating, that is in one direction. Only. But if I have dynamic vector, a vector whose components are algebraic equation, then it is it changes its direction, it changes its magnitude. Like if I say 
x i plus y j and x is 1, y is 1, then it is like this, whose magnitude is the square root of 2, x is 2, y is 2, again it is like this only, but magnitude is changing. So, a variable dynamic vector whose components are controlled by algebraic equation leads to a vector field. Vector, algebraic vector is vector field. Now, vector field, if I say x equal to 1, y equal to 1 in vector field xi plus yj, direction is same if I say x equal to 2 and y equal to 2. But otherwise, if I keep changing x and y when they are not equal, then we can see that that vector field is the arena earlier it is in one direction, now it is taking omni direction. So, this is vector field where it is a function that generates many vectors. So, if I say x i plus y j and I take x and y combination as 100, then it produces 100 vectors. So, it is a vector factory, vector field. Now, question arises is what is curling in vector field? We have talked about curling very nicely. So, if I have a vector field, if I have a consider, consider this is a this is a vector field. My vector is a way that it starts from here and it goes like this. In this, so in this vector field, if I keep any any item, so will it push through or it will rotate it? So, like if I have a vector field that is x i x i, so vector field is in horizontal direction. That is typically a river condition. River is flowing along x axis. <laughs> I mean river is straight, straight and minus x to x it is flowing. So, I say river is x i. If it is x i means river at the beginning there is no speed in the river. But as river is moving, speed is also gaining. It is really x i right because the way new new river meets the river then power is more in the river. If I talk about x i as force, then force keep on growing where river is moving because more rivers are coming into the picture. If I place this wood, <laughs> wood stick in the river, then will it rotate or not or it will go straight along the river. If it rotates, this proves that someone will say river is not simple. It rotates people if you go inside it. Means river has curling tendency. The force in the river, it has curling tendency. Many times you would see there is a whirlpool or swirling inside the river. There is a water that will rotate okay, in the river itself. It proves that at that moment river has tendency to rotate. So, curl factor in the river is there, not always, but sometimes it is there. Why there is a rotatent, rotation tendency in the river, that is the discussion that we are going through. Okay? Now, we come to a terminology called path independence, path independence, line integral. These are the terminology we are bringing in. If I have a vector field capital F, capital F is the vector field whose equation is x i plus y j whatever, algebraic way. So, if I have a vector field that is capital F, capital F is a vector field equal to f 1 i plus f 2 i j plus f 3 k whatsoever, where f 1, f 2, f 3 are function over x, y and z, all three is possible. If it is a three dimensional vector, it can be n dimensional vector also, algebraic vector vector field. Consider this vector field is force vector. Force will have a direction, right? If I have earth and earth and then this is the, this is the some axis r, r, then force is minus r because earth pulls something towards itself. So, force has a direction. What is the work done through the earth? through the earth force, gravitational pull, earth force, mass into acceleration. Work done is force into displacement, force into displacement. Also, it is called force vector dot displacement vector. 
so if i have a vector field if i have a vector field and because of the vector field like earth earth like river is a uh, force vector field consider river is a force vector field indeed it is a force vector field if you place a wood in the river it will river will take from one position to other position this proves the river water did a work when you are displacing something from one location to other location in the direction of the force this is what river is doing exactly in the direction of force if displacement is happening the river is working river has done work that is force vector dot dr vector r vector is the displacement vector displacement how much it covered and the direction if force vector is like this and displacement happens from here to here then full i cannot multiply force magnitude and displacement magnitude is the work done not true whatever is the force its essence along the direction of the displacement whatever it is doing this is also called f cos theta or f dot with the displacement direction force direction dot product with the displacement direction or force direct force magnitude into cos theta that is the magnitude of force along the displacement direction f capital f that is the field field vector field or force capital f dot d r vector the r is the displacement vector what is what is this work done from a to a one position to other position a to a a to a work done any one one would laugh right a to a same position to same position what is the work done zero not necessary this is what we are talking not necessary if i say integration f dot dr f dot dr this becomes integration when f is algebraic equation because simple mul algebraic multiplication is not what we want f f vector dot r vector is the work then that true but if f vector is f vector is 2i f vector is 2i plus 3j whereas r vector is 3i plus 5j you can do dot product simply their magnitude this magnitude equal to dot product means cos theta or simply you can do dot product and whatever comes that is the work done but if it comes to algebraic when f is xi plus yj and displacement direction is also 3 3k 3 3k uh, 3i uh, xi plus yj plus zk whatever if both vector comes into algebra then direct multiplication is not possible you have to go with the integration so capital f dot dr vector is the net work done limit a to b where a is a point along the r direction and b is a point along r direction from a to b whatever is the integral int if you do f dot dr vector then it will bring at the end one algebraic equation net first of all f dot dr will come as algebra only then you do the integration it will come as an algebraic function this is also called small f if algebraic function comes into the picture it is denoted as small f so it will bring a small f that is the work done small f whatever you get after the integration that is the work done it is also called potential function potential function now from point a to b then potential function whatever is potential function whatever it is at b whatever its value at b minus whatever its value at a that is integration from a, that is from if i do capital f that is field vector vector field or force field capital f vector dot dr vector if i settle it it becomes an algebraic equation with some integration if i settle the integration it becomes an algebraic equation that is also called potential function small f small f whatever i have received that is end of the integration now there is no integration it resulted in algebraic equation small f if that is the case small f what is come its limit from a to b its limit from a to b 
first set the v as a set of indi independent variable minus so f v minus f a is the net integration net work done do you see something consider this is earth it is actually earth okay so this is earth and i have an item here okay and then and then i leave it okay so item here and then i leave it what is the work done by gravitational force the gravitational force work done is gravitational force into th this point to this point the distance that is the work done if you do if you do integration of gravitational force into dr vector it will result in in a function function that is an algebraic function also called potential function what is, what is the value of potential function at this point if you set potential function small f is a function over independent variable x comma y comma z because that is the location if you set x comma y comma z as point a then you have potential function value at point a this is called potential energy at point a similarly if you calculate the small f value x y z at point b this is energy at this point this is called potential energy potential energy here minus potential energy here is the work done same as gravitational force into distance so gravitational force into distance gravitational force into distance is f dot dr that is the energy or work done from point a to b whatever comes f dot dr you set from b, b a to b okay a to b so f if it is small f then f b minus f a okay so a to b when i am saying then this is a and this is b then f b this is first f b minus f a that is but can you see something rather than if i know potential function if capital f is the vector field force vector dot dr vector net integration results in potential function small f okay now small f at b location small f at a location if i subtract then i get the work done then simply you get the potential function from somewhere or called potential energy function in gravitational force and get the value at point b and get the value at point a and just subtract it you get the work done rather than doing the f dot dr full integration not required this is called path independence we will talk more on it path independence path independence means if i have a point a and if i have a point b then if i drop something if i drop something from here to here it makes a straight line so force force whatever the gravitational force is dot dr vector that is a straight line vector if i do dr with force it is a work done but consider that this point is a this point is b correct but rather than rather than dropping this ball from a to b in a straight line i drop this ball i drop this item like this now it is traversing like this somehow i make a made a pipe and it is traversing like this and it is reaching point b from point a to point b it is taking circular path what is the work done work done is force dot the line line through which it is passing so if gravitational force is perpendicular means like this and the path is semi path is semi circular it is from a to b it is not going straight it is going like this then all around because algebra is very minute minute than anything else at this point this point it will calculate all the fdr fdr the, the this is the force vector and this is the line vector this is the force vector this is the line vector here if you see here the line vector and force vector are aligned to each other then again like this the line vector 
everywhere if you do dot 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 then you calculate the force into line width if result is same whatever you calculated the force into displacement vector when it fell straight and whatever you calculated from here to here in a circular fashion if both result is same then it is independent path independent path independent means work done is dependent upon the one point to other point one point to other point not on the path it takes circular path it takes parabolic path it takes a straight line whatever it is work done is dependent upon begin point and end point and the force vector because i calculated through line i calculated through se semi circuit i can calculate through parabolic i can calculate through staircase someone is someone drop the ball on the stair and ball is going stair one by one and reaching point b if work done is same force into displacement vector integration is same then work done is not dependent upon the path it is dependent upon the force and first point and second point only this is called path independence if that is the case if that is the case then generally we will people try to see what is the energy level at point a what is the energy level at point b differentiate these two energy level you get the work done that's it that energy level is called potential energy in physics potential energy at this point potential energy at this point just subtract it this is the work done by the gravitational force in calculus this is called potential function potential function at point a potential function at point b just subtract it you get the work done okay but if it is path dependent if it is depending upon the path f dot dr is for a straight line it is different for a circular line it is different whatever we calculate is a straight line it is different to circular line to parabolic line to staircase then then work done is dependent upon the path it is also possible that gravitational pull is path independent but there can be vector field force field where it will be dependent upon the path but if it is independent upon the path then you take any point path from point a to point b then it doesn't matter now question arises is how i can prove the prove that it is path independent if it is path independent then integration of f dr f vector capital f vector dot dr vector from a to a is zero because if i take if i say what is the in work done from here to here i take any path independent of the path what is the work done from here to here and then back here to here if it is path independent then you take any path from a to a if i say that it is as good as a to b b to c c to d d to e and then e back to a if you calculate everything and it is path independent then it only thing matters is beginning point and end point so beginning point is here and end point is here only you take whatever path you want at the end the work done will be zero okay now how i know that from a to a work done is zero for a particular force field or vector field if that is the case work done is zero uh, then try with all the possible path try straight line try circular path try straight staircase try parabolic path if with every path integration from a to a is zero then it is then it is path independent someone will hit his head in the wall how many shape i'll try that a to a it is zero not possible then what is possible okay if i i am walking on the road if i see a house then certainly i'll ask this who is the owner of this house then mr this mr a is the owner of this house then i saw a uh, i saw a garden who is the owner of this garden no one is the owner of this garden this is a government garden government garden okay no one is the owner of the garden i asked someone else who this garden belongs to whom who is the owner of this garden no one is the owner of this garden i asked someone else that 
this garden belongs to whom same question in different way this garden belongs to everyone if something does not belong to anyone this is also true that that belongs to everyone true right okay who is the owner of moon who is the owner of moon no one is owner of moon moon belongs to whom moon belongs to everyone if something that do not belongs to a particular person it belongs to everyone there are bad terms also but whatever it is but that is true okay so anyway so <laughs> so now we will see it so what we are trying to calculate capital f dot dr first proof i am giving you this is our proof this you will not find probably in any any of the book okay f dot dr f dot dr so vector field f dot dr what is r r is the path okay consider that this is the vector field and this is the path <laughs> this is the path and this is vector field point a to point b i want to calculate the work done from point a to point b if i take this path point from point a to point b then this vector field this path then how i can represent this is this path is again a vector vector field is again a vector path is again a vector what is what any point on this path i can represent it through x comma y any point in this path i can represent it through x comma y what is the generic vector for x comma y x i plus y j oh okay if this is the vector field if this is the vector field then my path is this whatever your path is if your point a to point b this path is a straight line earlier point a point a to point b this path then this path was a circular but idea is point a to point b this is a vector field this is point a and point b but path is a straight whatever every point can be represented as x comma y either it is on circle it is in parabola it is a staircase it is a straight line the path for a path every point can be represented as x comma y so position vector from the origin if i draw if this is a line this is a vector field this is a line any point x comma y if this is the origin then from origin if i draw a straight line to the point x comma y this is a position vector and position vector equation is x i plus y j this is a generic position vector if if a vector if force if a vector field or force vector field is independent of any path then it is it is like a, it if means path is does not exist if it is path independent it is as if path do not exist whatever is there that is limit from a to b if path do not exist means it it belongs to everyone it does not belong to anyone it belongs to everyone so can i take a generic path which belongs to everyone so generic path is x i plus y j because either it is a circle this is our proof either it is a circle or it is a straight line whatever it is so capital f dot d r vector r vector is x i plus y j now x i plus in two dimension three dimension x i plus y j plus z k whatever it is x i plus y j if that is the case then it is now generic what is x i plus y j it can be a straight line it can be circle it can be parabola it can be a staircase it can be any line x i plus y j so capital f dot d of x i plus y j where capital f is f1 i plus f2 j f1 capital f1 is the first component capital f2 is the second component f1 i plus f2 j dot d d of x i plus y j what is d x of d d of x i plus y j that is d x i plus d y j here f1 i plus f2 j if you do dot product 
then it will become f1 dx plus f2 dy. Now it is algebraic equation. f1 dx capital f1 dx plus capital f2 dy from limit a to b. Limit a to b. Now capital f1 dx plus capital f2 dy should become a if I do integration, it should become an algebraic equation that is small f also called potential function. Capital F1 dx plus capital F2 dy. It resulted because we, we are trying to do capital F1 vector dot dr vector. This, this dot product we are trying. So, r vector is nothing but xi plus yj. So, d of xi plus yj is dxi plus dyj capital F is F1i plus F2j. So, F1i plus F2j dot dxi plus dyj becomes F1 dx plus F2 dy. That results in an algebraic equation. F1 dx will, one, will be one algebraic equation plus F2 dy will be one algebraic equation. Summation is an algebraic equation. That is small f potential function. If this is possible. If this is possible, then a small f is not dependent upon any path. Or if I have, if this integration is possible, capital F1 dx plus capital F2 dy, if this integration is possible, then it will result into small f. If it result into small f, then just set the small f, small f, small f, in small f the set point b so small f at b minus small f at a is the net work done so small f or if i reverse it if i know small f if i know small f through this way or whatever it is if i know small f then work done is nothing but small f at b minus small f at a if i subtract then i get the work done if I reverse it, I went from a straight forward, capital F1 dx plus capital F2 dy resulted in a small f as a potential function. If I want capital F, capital F2 small f, I got it. What about a small f to capital F? Reverse, how I can get capital F1 dx plus capital F2 dy, where F1 and F2 are components of capital vector field capital F, capital F equal to F1 X, F1 I plus F2 J. If through F I got the potential function F that is the full integration and setting limit B to A that is F small F at B minus small F at A. From a small F how I can get back capital F1 and F2. Then I have to do partial derivative along x axis i vector and j vector if i do it is also called gradient so d small f df by dx i vector plus df by dy j vector that will result in capital vector f or if f1 dx plus f2 dy capital f f1 dx plus f2 dy is resulting into a small f then a small f df by dx would be capital F. df by dy is capital F2, capital F1 and capital F2. Small f, potential function, small f. df by dx is capital F1. df by dy is capital F2. If this, re this relationship is there, capital F1 dx plus capital F2 dy is resulting into potential function a small f and a small f df df by dx is capital f1 and df by, by dy is capital f2 in other words the gradient of potential function f is vector field capital f if this relationship is there then it is path independent in a way that we went through xi plus yj vector as a path x i plus y j is the path of any path that is a vector equation of any path 
x i plus y j. Through that we have started. Let us go with the generic path. If I am saying path independent, then it should be good if I say it is, it is for every path. So, generic path is x i plus y j. Through that if I went, then I saw that it is f 1 d x plus f 2 d y. If that results in a potential function of small f, then from a small f, if I calculate df by dx, then that becomes f1. As per calculus, df by dy, it becomes f2. If that is the case, then gradient of potential function is vector field f. If this relationship is there, then my fundamental of generic path xi plus yj works. So, if you find any, gra any potential function small f for which gradient, if you calculate gradient and it becomes vector field capital F, then it is path independent because we both side, it is perfectly all right. From this side, vector field capital F1 dot dr, r is taken as generic r that is xi plus yj and it results in potential function F. When it results in potential function F or from this way, if I have any potential function f, if its gradient, if its gradient becomes the vector field f, capital F, then it is called path independent because the path we have taken is x i plus y j. One side x i plus y j, another side if I have a potential function, then potential function if I want to calculate the work done, then it is not as good as f at b, one point f at b minus f at a. So, full work, full work done equation that is capital F dot dr from limit a to b, it resulting into a potential function small f from a to b, small f at b minus a small f at a, where small f is only dependent upon vector field f. If I say f1 dx plus f2 dy, it is as good as simple integration. It does not depend upon any path. It is dependent upon only capital F. Can you see it? Capital F1 dx plus capital F2 dy is only dependent upon capital F. So, if I do integration, it becomes potential function small f. Then small f is only dependent upon capital F. If that is true, then gradient of a small f will result in vector field F. So, capital F from capital F vector field, if I am able to find a potential function of small f for which the gradient of a small f potential function results in capital F, then it is path independent. If it is path independent, then work done is nothing but small f at point V value, small f at point A value, the subtract it you get the work done where small f that is a potential function that came directly from the vector field capital F not through its path because path is generic. This is our proof. Anyway, we will proceed on it.